boys and girls. Today, Miss Beale has found a bookstore, and we are going to see what happens when hippos go berserk by Sandra Boynton. It does say a wild counting story. One hippo all alone. What comes next? Calls two hippos on the phone. Three hippos at the door bring along another four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten so far. Five hippos come overdressed. Oh, they're fancy. Six show up with a guest. Six plus one equals seven hippos arrive in a sack, in a bag, in a container, in a pouch. Eight hippos sneak in the back. Nine hippos come to work. All the hippos go berserk. B-E-R-S-E-R-K, berserk. Hyper, crazy, hot mess. Nuts, loco. Insane, berserk. Crazy. All through the hippo night, hippos play with great delight fun joy but at the hippo break of day the hippos all must go away nine hippos and a beast join eight hippos riding east so nine plus eight we're gonna stick nine big number in our head nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 hippos riding east on the gray hip bus lines. While seven hippos moving west in the covered wagons. Six hippos, oh, seven hippos moving west leave six hippos quite distressed. Concerned, preoccupied, fretful, worried, trepidatious. Five hippos then set forth with four hippos heading north in the helicopter. So east on the bus, west in the covered wagon, north in the helicopter. Three hippos say good day, which is what you might hear if you are greeted in Australia. The last two hippos go their way. One hippo alone once more misses the other 44. If you like Sandra Boynton books, have a look at these. Miss Bill has read a couple. Blue hat, red hat, the one about mistakes, the going to bed book. See, you never know what you'll find if you go out on a little adventure and keep your eyes open. Looking forward to seeing you at Oasis K and until then, read, read, read. Love you guys. Bye.